everybody and welcome back to vlogtober today is vlogtober day 19 how crazy is that like literally insane day 19 already we are flying through today is a sunday for moi and i'm having a very cozy day today i'm actually starting this off at like 1 p.m because <laughs> i've had the most chill morning i actually bought the extended edition of lord of the rings fellowship of the ring on Amazon Prime. So I've been watching that. I'm like one hour in, the movie is almost four hours long. So I got some more to do, but I'm watching it like intermittently throughout the day because I didn't want to just like binge it. I wanted to like enjoy it in batches. So I'm slowly watching it. I love the extended editions. I plan on buying all of them just so that I can watch them because because I love these movies, I like to watch the extended editions because it's got way more content in it and they're just so good. Today's knit sweater is one of my favorites. This one's from Aritzia, Sunday Best. It's like the Peggy little half zip. It reminds me of like a nice dad sweater, super warm. These sweaters are like 100% wool and they are seriously warm, like warm. Like you don't even need to wear a jacket sometimes when you wear these because they're just like so cozy. Like if I wear this and a jacket, I'm sweating, okay? <laughs> like these are so cozy I love them I'm just wearing leggings too and <laughs> I got my Ugg slippers on which are so comfortable I'm about to take Millie for her afternoon walk I was waiting because they had the marathon on today in Toronto it's like the Toronto waterfront marathon so like a lot of the roads are closed and there's just runners everywhere so I was waiting for that to be over before I went for like my nice walk so I think I'm gonna go and do that now come back have lunch and I'll probably continue with my Lord of the Rings watching for probably like another hour I edited my vlog also this morning from yesterday we went to the Fright Fest which was really cool not Fright Fest that's the one they have at Halloween on how long, wait, what? <laughs> I went to Legends of Horror. That's what it's called at Casa Loma. It was good. It wasn't the best one I've ever been to though. Like I don't get scared that easily because I know that they're actors. So they have to like really pop out and scare me. And some of them were just trying to be like creepy. And I'm like, you're not creeping me up because I know um, that you're just like a person in makeup, <laughs> you know? But other ones were really good. They had the creepiest clown, okay? Like I'm talking scary it, this guy who was dressed up as it was also like six foot something. So like a giant clown. That one was actually terrifying everybody. Like that one was really creepy. It was funny too, the amount of people that broke character. Like one of the guys tried to scare us once and he didn't scare us. He ended up popping out later, scaring the crap out of me and Natalie. And then he literally was like, I got you guys that time. And I'm like, okay, you did. And you also just broke character. <laughs> It's just really funny. Anyways, I'm gonna go on my nice little afternoon stroll now in the sunshine. It's super sunny out, which is really nice. I love a sunny fall day. And then I think I'm gonna make a smoothie when I get back. I kind of feel like a protein smoothie. And my bananas are <laughs> going bad. So I'm gonna need to handle those before they are complete goners. Here's another little organization of my closet. And my plan now is I'm actually gonna go down to my storage locker and get my winter beanies and my jackets because I'm gonna get food on my face, that's good. Looking great. Um, because I feel like it's gonna start getting really cold. So I wanna just bring up my jackets and my beanies, that kind of stuff that I'll have to wear in the mornings for walking Millie because I don't wanna freeze. So I'm gonna start bringing up those but i'm happy my closet is looking really organized right now i'm very happy with how things are looking in here it's looking good this is really organized i folded all of my workout clothes and i put all my like really summer colored workout clothes just down in my storage locker because i don't reach for them in the fall and winter anyways so there's no reason for me to have them in my closet because i know i'm not going to reach for them same with like a lot of these knits i'm not sure if i'm going to keep all of them, like, I feel like I'm not reaching for them. So I'm like, do I keep them if I'm just taking up space in my closet? I don't know. Like, I don't really wear this pink one. But then also I'm like, what if I want to wear a pink sweater? Then I have one. So I'm <laughs> like, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it in there. But I honestly barely ever reach for anything pink. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that. But 
It's looking cute in here. I actually moved these into my closet because I feel like I'll wear them more than when they're in my coat closet because I just don't think about them when they're in there. I love this little Sherpa jacket. I got it at Aritzia last year. It's so cute. This one's from Revolve. I love that one as well. And they're all just super nice. So yeah, just doing some organizing, typical Sunday stuff. I have another hour of Lord of the Rings to watch. I watched one more hour of it. So I got a, like an hour and something to go, I believe. So we're doing pretty, pretty good so far at uh, organizing our life. It looks like it's gonna rain later too, which is not ideal, but what can you do? Okay. Sorry, you can hear my washer running in the back, but I brought up this bag that has one of my winter jackets in it. I didn't bring up my long one yet, because I feel like that one is really for the snow. <laughs> And we're not there yet. So I just brought out my black um, jacket. I got this last year. It's the Pursuit Parka. Super warm. This thing was so cozy to walk a million. I literally love it. Such a good winter jacket. I'm just gonna throw it in the back because I doubt I'll be wearing this probably until November and then I'm sure it'll probably get pulled out because it's freezing here in November. So let's just put it oh, at the back. Okay. And then the only other things in here are hats and beanies in this dress <laughs> that I bought last year that I didn't get the chance to wear. And I really hope I get invited to some sort of Christmas event this year. Cause like how perfect would this be for like a Christmas dinner? It's perfect. Okay. So cute with like little loafers. I love it. So I'm going to have to hang that up in my closet. But then I have a ton of beanies, which I'm not sure I'm going to keep all of them just cause I don't wear all of them. This one for sure I'm gonna keep. This is the, this is a beanie by the brand Main Character. And it's like this black beanie. I wore this one all the time last winter. It's just so warm on your head. So this one is staying. I'm going up here. I also have this one. This is by Love Your Melon. I haven't worn this one. I got sent it last year. It's just like really tight on my head, which I don't know if that's flattering on me the pom-pom is like really going to one side there <laughs> yeah I don't know about this one I feel like it doesn't really fit my head properly my giant melon I don't know what do you guys think Does, is the pom-pom throwing anyone else off it's kind of cute it kind of fits also my washer is on full spin right now so I apologize for that it's going off what else do we have in here? Oh, I loved this beanie. I got this in like a, the holiday gift exchange with my friend Shannon. It's from Roots. This one's super cute, which is why and I feel like they're quite similar, but I think this one fits my head a bit better. It's not as tight. So I think I'm gonna keep this one because it's a little bit better fitting for a gray beanie. What are you up to, missus? So I'll donate this one. I'm sure my mom would probably take this. Keep the Roots one. I like it better. This cream beanie I've had for so long. It has been through so much. It's from Zara. It's one of their like oversized beanies. It's so extra and I love it. It's massive on my head. Keeping, obviously. I think I'm gonna donate this green one just because I don't love the color green that it is. It's a little bit bright for me. I'd want more of like a dark green. This one's a little bit bright for my preference. Not that I hate it. It's just really green. So I think I'm going to donate that one. And I just have my mittens, which I love from Lululemon. Same with, will I get rid of these ones? Yeah, those ones are even warm. Mittens from Lululemon I'm going to keep. These are really nice because they have the little area that your fingers can come out of. I'm sitting on the ground now. We love this angle. And then last up, I just have this like ear warmer headband from Lululemon, which I love as well for whenever I have my hair up and I'm walking Millie. So I'm gonna keep all of those. Also, I have this bucket hat. That's like a Sherpa bucket. I never wear this. I think I wore it once for like a picture. It's actually too tight for my, my head. So I think I'm gonna donate it because it will definitely give me a headache. It's really tight on my giant head. <laughs> 
Anyone else got like a huge noggin or is it just me? I'm about to head out because I'm gonna go meet up with Aiden at H&M. He needs to get a new dress shirt or he's gonna look for a new dress shirt for the wedding we're going to on Saturday. So I said I would meet him there. So that's my game plan. I'm just gonna go there. I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm just gonna go and, you know, just morally support him in his white dress shirt decision. And then come back here <laughs> and heat up my leftovers for dinner and finish watching The Lord of the Rings. That's literally my day today. <laughs> Super, super casual day for me, but it's just the vibe. It's a Sunday vibe. I wish it wasn't so cloudy though. It got like really overcast, which is not ideal, but what can you do? And that's my Sunday. <laughs> It is much later now. I have just been chilling out, honestly. Felt super tired. <laughs> and just in like a hardcore Sunday mood. So I got, me and Aiden got some Caribbean food for dinner. Ate that. Came back. And I literally was just chilling watching more extended edition of Lord of the Rings. Enjoying every minute of it, but... That's literally all I've been doing and it's like, I think just past 9 p.m. now. I'm just getting ready for bed, to read in bed. Super tired. Aiden was able to find a really nice dress shirt at H&M for like really good price. It was only like 20 bucks or something, so that's super good. I'm so excited for the wedding next weekend or this coming weekend. It's my first friend to get married and it's like one of my childhood friends. Like I've known her since elementary school. So it's just crazy how time is going by. Cause I feel like this is just the first one and I feel like there's just gonna end up being more and more friends getting married. And it's just so crazy how fast time goes. Like I remember being in high school and I remember being in high school with all these people in elementary school and now they're getting married like it's just crazy i'm also just so excited for a reason to get dressed up like there is nothing better than a reason to get all dressed up and glam and i'm so excited i want to wear like false eyelashes and everything i haven't done that in so long i need to buy eyelash glue so somebody could remind me by the weekend to go buy eyelash glue at shoppers i want to do like full glam look good makeup and i just can't wait i feel like it's gonna be so much fun this week in general is gonna be so much fun i have so much exciting things planned like a little staycation brand getaway ah! i can't wait i planned out my whole week i also think i'm gonna get my i have dip on right now but they make them like my nails so thick i don't like it so I'm gonna actually get it off and just get um, a shellac manicure like super short for the wedding. Yes, I don't like these, they look like little chiclets or something. <laughs> They're so thick, I don't understand. And I don't really want long nails because I thought about getting a bio gel set, but long nails like, I like the idea of them, I like the look of them, but they're just not that practical when you're editing on a computer all the time. I don't have a mouse, so I have to actually edit <laughs> like, with the little pad and having nails is just such an annoyance with that. Let me know what color you think I should get for the wedding that'll match 
my dress because I kind of want to do like a fall color but my dress is like emerald green kind of color and I feel like I shouldn't wear I don't think I should get like emerald green nails would that be weird like emerald green and emerald green <laughs> is that like super odd should I not do that please let me know down below anyways I'm gonna continue doing my skincare and I'll see y'all in a bit I'm in bed now Hi. oh but I thought I would come on and end off today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new and I will see you all in my next video I really need to get used to talking with the retainer in because this is gonna be my life <laughs> straining my teeth a bit so I have to wear it all the time and I can't be out here with a lisp, so I'm gonna have to work on that one. But anyways, <laughs> good night, guys. I'm gonna try and read another big chunk of this book. I'm like halfway through now. I need to keep powering through and not fall asleep. I need to sit up while I read because I lay down and start falling asleep. Anyways, <laughs> I love you all, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, bun.